you have a different inspiration for this project, the good fight, um, what you were approaching with the subject matter as an MC? Um, this is the first record I, I had written the lyrics indoors. Okay. Yeah, I decided I wanted to force myself to be able to write in my studio. Mm. So I started the record November 27th and I turned it in January 13th. Okay. And um, I just stayed in the studio and just wrote the record. Mm. And, and as a result, the record is definitely way more personal, introspective, and internal. Because okay. I was internal. I was just in confined to four walls. Yeah. And I, I think I didn't necessarily consciously seek out to do that. But it ended up being a result of just staying inside and not really coming in contact with anybody. Mm. I've been to him, but when I tour, the amount of people that are telling me that my music is having an impact on their lives, I've had, I can't even count anymore the amount of people, and this is a sad thing to say, that have told me my music has helped them stay alive and not commit suicide. Mm. Like a lot of people. Uh, people tell me that my music's helped them stay in school, you know, help them get a job that they wanted. And I started realizing that there's this purpose to my lyrics that I'm not taking responsibility for. Mm. And there's a style of my production that people love the most from me. So how about I deliver that message over the production that they want from me? Mm. So this is basically the lyrical content that I'm known for over Rock Creek Park. I did like six, seven songs with J. Cole total. Cause I know, I know you did three or four, and I know you did some stuff with Rock Creek some Rock Creek Park beats. Okay. Uh, but he has played me two of the tracks. One of them I have, the other one he played me was to another beat I made, and it, was, it featured Kendrick on it. Oh, okay. So there is a track produced by me featuring J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Will it ever see the light of day? I have no idea. But you've heard it. I've heard it. His DJ manager saw on Twitter that I was in London and was like, yo, come to the show. And when I came to the show, I gave her a shout out saying, yo, thank you for having me at the show. It was great. J. Cole killed it. J. Cole saw it and was like, yo, you're here? Sent me a, a direct message. Okay. Like, I'm a fan. You know, I got Rocky Park. I rhyme to it all the time. I'm in the studio tomorrow starting my second album. What's good? I came to the studio the next day and we were in there from like three to three in the morning. And the track that we did record that I have was the first track he recorded for his second album. He was like, yo, I finally figured out how I want to work on my second album. Mm. And it was off the basis of that session. Oh, wow. And um, needless to say, he ended up not using any of the tracks and producing the whole album for himself. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm sure you can relate to. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs>